It's no longer the materialistic things. Now it's your social media. Now it's your peers and being relevant with your peers in social media. So now the only thing that has really changed is the vehicle was materialistic things. Now the vehicle is technology. So now I see a lot of people go around, you know, they'll do stuff to get likes on Facebook, followers on Twitter, tap to Instagram two times, whatever you do. iPhone 5, you gotta have it because you gotta have the most up-to-date phone to do all the social media things now. So now this has become what your guys, you guys, A&T's new guys, whoever you, whatever you want to call it, this is now your relevancy, okay? And I'm gonna show you how your relevancy now can make you fall into the same trap that I fell into which did not allow me to seize my opportunity when I first came here. All right? What's next off on me? Now, society's views on your relevancy. They say because you're so into your social media, you disregard your values, or your, your values are disintegrated. Because instead of helping somebody out, you rather record them and be like, oh, oh, she got knocked out. Oh, look at that. Oh, he got hit by a train. Oh, <laughs> You're morally disconnected. Your name? I'm Nyla Turnage. I'm Maya White. What are you majoring in? I'm um, a nursing major. I'm a physical therapy major with minor in biology. Okay. How, um, what do you think about this class? It was very helpful. Um, he taught me a lot. Stay focused. And you know, you really think about it when he said you have like success and failure equal. So that's, that hit I can home work with. So would you say this class would be a stepping stone for you? Yes, definitely. This class is very helpful. It wakes me up a lot in what I'm about to embark on. So what do you think about the social media effect? You know, I, there are good and bad parts. You have to use it for good and not evil. Yeah, that's, you don't really think about how like our generation has, I guess, consumed so yeah. much social media. You know, instead of calling somebody real quick, they have to send a text, or, you know, it's all about getting likes on Instagram, and who has the most followers, and stuff like that, but that's not the most important thing. Are y'all going to um, graduate? Of course. <laughs> all right, then. thank you. Now, how true is that? Everybody says, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. You done it before, I've done it before. But at the same time, if you looked at it like this, how much more would you accomplish if you look at tomorrow as, that's another day closer to my death? Nobody starts at 100 when they're born and goes backwards. You start at zero and go until you can't go no more. So if you looked at tomorrow as, hmm, I'm 28, year old, 28 years old now. I'll be 30 in April, or 29, I'm sorry, in April. So each day that I procrastinate and hold something off, is a day closer to an older age, which means a day closer to what? Your name? My name is Ayana Antoine, and I'm a journalism and mass communications student here at ANT. I love this session. It was really informative, really motivational. It makes me feel like I need to stop procrastinating, get on, do what I want to do, so that I can do the things that I know that I'm destined for. And I'm Leslie Young, and I'm a nursing major. And I really appreciate the session because he was real with us. Um, there's a big difference. Motivational speakers and teachers need to be real with us. He didn't sugarcoat anything. It was personal. And it helped us put ourselves in his shoes. And by doing that, it was really encouraging and a motivating. Okay, where do y'all see yourself in like um, four years from now? Four years from now, I hope to start off as a public relations, either analyst or specialist, where people like maybe Google or something smaller to that respect. I see myself as a nurse, a traveling nurse, um, going around taking care of children particularly. Okay, what will y'all tell the youth that's coming in behind you? I will tell them to work hard, don't procrastinate, um, remember your goal, remember um, that you want to graduate, and that's the aim. I'll kind of just reiterate his main point of that you're here for a purpose and you're destined for something great and only you stand in your way for what you're destined for. You're not going to let somebody tell you that 
you can't accomplish it and you're not going to not have it because you choose not to go get it. Okay, what do you think about this saying? If you can believe it, you can achieve it. I think it rings true simply because you're the only thing stopping you. I think it, it definitely can be true, but you have to act on those beliefs. Without acting on them, you can't go anywhere. I can believe all day long. But without acting on those beliefs moving forward, there's no way you can achieve what you need. Okay, what do y'all think about social media? I think social media has its place. It's definitely um, been beneficial in some cases, and then it's been the death of a lot of people. So, Unfortunately, I feel like it's coming down as an evil as opposed to a good. However, it has the potential to do wonderful things and take our generation so far. Okay. Thank you very much, and I wish y'all ladies a great success. Everybody stay true. You only fail if you stop. Keep going and don't quit. Oh, let's go get high, get high, turn up. Who, 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 who,